Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I have here three little clips of an interview uh, conducted by Piers Morgan uh, with Jeffrey Sachs, professor. Uh, I've been watching Professor Sachs for um, some time, uh, and I think he's very intelligent, he's uh, very knowledgeable, and he has balls. So everything that you need to succeed. We have here Piers Morgan, on the other hand, a, um, uh, let's put it mildly, not uh, the same caliber. Now, Piers Morgan is going to ask uh, Professor Sachs a few questions. I will have three video clips, three short ones from the same interview. And this uh, video where I took it from is from Piers Morgan Uncensored uh, site. And it's titled Piers Morgan versus Jeffrey Sachs. Okay, it says, can you not find anything negative to say about Putin? So Piers Morgan versus Sachs. It's a fight. It's a brawl. This is the level of intelligence these guys are trying to push on us. They get us used uh, with this kind of low-level intelligence in which we should uh, see you're good or you're bad. Do you uh, condemn that? Do you promote that? Are you a good person? You're a bad person. And I always show you I'm good and you're bad. That's exactly what's going on over here. So they're talking about Putin. They're talking about in this uh, little interview about uh, whatever happens in the Middle East right now. And Pierce Morgan is interested uh, in uh, Professor Sachs' opinion on Putin. And Professor Sachs says, I think he's intelligent, I think he's this and that. And then Pierce Morgan wants to catch him, destroy him actually, I would say, by you can't say anything about bad, say something bad about Putin, say something bad about Putin. And Professor Sachs functions from a I don't know, five classes above this weasel who's interested in, ah, gotcha, gotcha, right there, say it, you're going to destroy your career. And Professor Sachs is going to answer uh, that question. The other one, again, uh, Pierce Morgan will say, well, you're American, you, you criticize America, you're a bad person. And the third one, well, you support authoritarian guys, you're a bad person. All this is at the level of a baboon, which is Okay, so let me show you this video. Here it is. So that is Professor Jeffrey Sachs and the other one is obviously Pierce Morgan. So I'm going to start with the first video clip where Pierce Morgan wants to know if this guy has any garbage to throw on Putin because this guy said some good things about that bad dude. So let's go. What I'm fascinated by though is I've asked you to say what you it's think of Putin. So far, like I say, you've only called him tough and smart. This is a guy that kills his political opponents. This is a guy... Killing his opponents. Evidence, Pierce? Evidence? Your evidence is some people say. That's his evidence. And so on. Yeah, what's the... the... This is a guy yeah, who, who, who rules his following. country like a gangster. Like... like a gangster. Like here? No? I find it... I'm struggling to understand why you can't find any negatives for the guy. He's a dictator. Because I'm trying to, because I'm trying to find peace, and you don't do it the way that Biden does. Biden said, okay, he's a thug. Biden says he's a crazy SOB. That's real good, Joe. That's really getting us to where we want to go. That's hundreds of thousands of Ukrainians dead. But why you, don't we but move can a you little know, bit yeah, Professor, can you, not find, can you not find anything negative to say about Vladimir Putin? That's what he cares about. Call the guy bad and we're good. And that's the level that we have to promote and give the audience. Putin is bad. That's the message. Not the policies. How did we get there? How do we solve it? No. Call the guy bad and that's it. And then don't, don't say anything about our policies of whatever they might be. Remember, he said he's a dictator. Really? Based on what kind of evidence? I want to hear them. Is Zelensky a dictator, Pierce? Is Zelensky a dictator? I guarantee you he's going to say no or he's going to avoid the answer. Why? Or the question. Why? Because he knows that he's going to get caught with this kind of garbage. The one guy conducted elections, the other guy did not. Well, um, martial law. So let's keep moving with this one. 
I don't think that what I say about Putin negative has anything to do with anything. What I'm saying is, as I know, you well, got you were ready to, to call him smart. You're ready to negotiate. call him smart and tough. I'm that's like, all. okay, and Th that's, you know, in, in you, you uh, can call him smart and tough, but you can't find anything bad a, to say. About I wrote the guy. a book about the Cuban Missile Crisis and its aftermath. Kennedy didn't go name calling Khrushchev. He tried to save the world to stop the war. Hmm. Afterwards, he didn't insult Khrushchev. What he did was sat down with him and negotiated the partial nuclear test ban treaty. We're not in a game. We're not in name calling. We're not in a cage brawl. We're trying to actually not have the world spiral into nuclear war. So it's not that game. The game is sit down and negotiate. No, I've got, my final point on this is that your critics, as you know, say that you're a purveyor of anti-American talking points. Your critics, as we know. Who's we? Who's we? Some critics, yes, but he's got some people who are not his critics. They look highly at Mr. Jeffrey Sachs. See how this weasel is framing the whole question and the whole thing? Um, particularly when it comes to the notion of American exceptionalism. And I'm just curious that you've been very sort of praiseworthy of Putin's strengths uh, and pretty critical of America, but you don't seem to want to say anything critical of Putin or Russia. I'm, I'm an American, and, and I follow, uh, I call it Jesus's uh, foreign policy advice, which is, why do you point the moat in the other eye when you have the beam in your own eye? I want us to do better. I want us to have a counterpart. I want us to sit down and negotiate and make peace. I don't believe name-calling is the way to solve problems in the nuclear weapons age. I believe that sitting down and negotiating an outcome and having it transparent is the way to do it. Fantastic. So the guy is the guy, Dr. Uh, Professor Jeffrey Sachs. He's about solving problems. Let's find what happened. Let's put it together. Let's solve the problem. The other guy is, well, uh, you, we are uh, critics. You're bad. You say bad things about that. You said bad things about that. Is that how you solve the problem? Is over there to put Professor Sachs at the wall? That's exactly what it is. I think it's a, they try a professional and um, character assassination. I think that's what Pierce tries to do. So that's the first uh, video clip. Let me show you the other two short ones. In this second uh, clip, Professor Sachs is going to tell us who thinks that will be more likely to spy on him, the Chinese or someone else. And this is uh, what Professor Sachs says. Who is most likely to spy on me, by the way, my own government, by far. Do you not see China as a, a national... Oops. So back again. Is a, a national security threat to the United States? Not if China. Not at all. Really? <laughs> not at all. Dumb. Not at all. <laughs> not at all. You seem very, uh, very... I think that this is China's... You seem very, very um, un unbothered by these authoritarian regimes. Yeah, because yeah. I don't think China is about to invade the United States or do damage to us. Uh, you know, I have been going to China for... So, again, the guy tries to catch him in that department. You're a bad dude. You seem to promote the bad dudes that we say they're bad dudes. And the guy is, well, we talk about policies, issues. Not the Chinese government is going to uh, spy on me, but my own government, he says. So, let me show you the third um, little clip with Professor Sachs. So here it is. The third one is uh, Pierce, again, goes with his imbecilic low-level IQ question. Are there any bad guys on this planet? Yeah, maybe you look somewhere closer to you. And this is Professor Sachs' answer. Again, are there any bad guys? Unbelievable. Are there any bad guys in the world? I mean, are you a fan of Kim Jong-un, North Korea? I'm not a fan of these people. I want to have normal relations with them. That's another interesting case, by the way. Uh, we said uh, in the late 1990s, we will uh, take steps for building a relationship so that North Korea would not become a nuclear armed nation. 
Uh, and then uh, John Bolton came in in 2002, said, that's all stupid. We don't have to do anything with these people, uh, and so on. So where are we today? Of course, we're in a vastly more dangerous situation than we were 20 years ago. No. So who would you, would you like to associate with, yourself with? Piers Morgan or Jeffrey Sachs? One was talking about uh, you like uh, that or you don't like that, you're a good person, you're a bad person. And the other one was discussing way above Piers Morgan's head the issues, the issues that must be solved. It's like, oh, he's a bad dude. We don't talk with that dude. Well, if he's a bad dude, let's talk to him. Maybe things, good things can, can come out. And that's the example. That's the reasoning of prof the professor. And this is just Piers Morgan. I, I heard, I listened to Piers Morgan in some interview he conducted now that the garbage in the, over there occurs. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. I, I don't know. He has only one chance in my brain not to be stored as he is for me, uh, Piers, that he's intelligently enough to invite all these people to ask questions therefore promote certain kind of uh, agenda and say, oh, listen to Sachs, I'm going to attack him. But actually, I give him a platform for people like you and I that will say, oh, OK, look at this guy. This is a smart guy right there that makes a good point. It, that will be the only way I would say Pierce Morgan is not a guy. OK, other than that, he's just a weasel working for other interests, including himself, obviously, which is not bad, but still. If you have a little bit of, uh, I don't know, character, you don't uh, uh, step on other people's graves in order to promote yourself. yourself. But it's not the case of Morgan, but I heard him uh, talk before when he was screwed up many, many times by, he, by his uh, guest because he's not very smart. And you know, it's not only that you're not very smart. When the evidence is overwhelming on the opposite side, you can't fight it. You can't fight it. I mean, you try, you try to, you know, diverse, divert, oh, Putin is bad, King Jong Un is bad, all these guys are bad, we should eradicate them. That is the uh, well, man, dogmatic view of the world. But this guy is like, wait a minute, hold on, things are more, more um, nuanced than you try to make it uh, good versus evil. And obviously, we're good. Pierce Morgan is the good. He is the moralizer, he is the judge. He is the judge over there. Uh, remember, look at this thing in many, many of uh, these presenters, uh, I don't, what do you want to call them, these artists, these clowns. And you're going to find out that mostly when they're going to invite a, um, a guest that they don't like, they're not going to find, okay, what's your policy? What do you think it should be done? No, they will try to attack, destroy him destroy his credibility, which is already is destroyed in their idiot audience view. But uh, they try to destroy it on people that my oh, let's see, this guy showed up at this kind of little interview. And they say, oh, look at what Pierce Morgan did to uh, Jeffrey Sachs. And the title is Pierce Morgan versus Jeffrey Sachs. Can you uh, not find anything negative to say about Putin? I don't give a fuck about that question. I don't give a fuck. I can find a lot of positives and negatives in you and everybody else in me. What does that prove? Let's say a Sachs would have just, professor, would have just fallen into that imbecilic uh, uh, interview frame. What would, have, what would have been Pierce's next question? Should we eliminate him? Is good that we do this? Should NATO go in? He's imbecilic. He, uh, Pierce doesn't understand that things are bipolar. Uh, you know, good and bad, mixed overlap, unless he thinks that we're all good, which I think he wants us to believe, and that's a very infantile worldview. All right, good job, Professor Sachs. Thank you very much. And you can watch him uh, coming in front of the United Nations talking about the, something about, I'm talking about Israel, if I remember correctly, or Ukraine, both. He's a very smart, very knowledgeable, wise man, and courageous. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.